Hello Dylan or anyone else who wants to watch this. Um, this is a flash tutorial because Dylan I didn't really get to explain too much to you the last time when I tried to explain it I really just rushed through it so you might want to watch this a couple of times and tell me what you think and stuff like that so what we're going to do is first click on flash wait for it to load up but I've already got something going here so we just press file new then we go flash document and press OK so we've got a whole new flash thing here and you might want to double click on this which is the frame rate and yours should be 12 but for the sake of consistency and smoothness I'm going to have it at 24 which I usually do you might want to turn it down or turn it up whichever the one you want so just press OK and we're going to have onion skin on so when we draw something and next frame it there's going to be a little thing there oh yeah by the way um, if you've drawn a stick man this is just going to be a rushed one and you don't like his look or something press control Z control then Z to undo certain buttons it took me quite a while to f figure that out um, because I just didn't it didn't click really so what we're going to do is next just click on brush tool and then <coughs> <coughs> sorry I got a cough but um then we go down to sizes and yours might be like that or any bullshit but we're just going to go to the biggest one which this will seem a little bit awkward at the start but you'll get used to it so just go up to the percentage here and press 300 oh no no actually 300 is, is if you want to make a big scene like Xiao Xiao or something so just do 200 oh yeah alright and we're just going to make our stick man stick man as a layer and because you can make all these fights and shit like that when you want to except for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to be doing one man and then I'll probably just add people later like I've done with this so here I'm going to add the sound effects and stuff later but it's just one guy fighting all by himself which is yeah it's called spinning ponage which is pretty cool um, so then what we do is we start just by drawing a circle all this might seem a bit complicated and not worth doing at the start but if you want good stick animations this is how the pros do it so then we just click on that circle and you go control and copy so control V whenever you want to paste something but in this we're just gonna have him there so then you just click your brush tool or B B B B B that's how I switch to it fast just remember the shorts and you'll be good so we just draw one segment of his body which is his back which is going to be arched actually no I always do the march like that um, we'll do his back like that sorry that's terrible um, yeah I'll just keep with arch um, and then you draw one segment so you let go after that then one leg one shin one toe one leg, one shin, one toe. And that's how we're going to do it. So when you draw, if say you did your normal technique where you just probably go, wee, this is so cool, my animation is going to look so good. Then when you click, it will delete like big bits and it's just terrible. Just listen to me, I'll get the hell out. Um, anyway, um, then we're just going to draw a back a front arm then a back arm and you've got your stick man so if we want to change frames we're just we're just going to click F6 for now to keep the stick man F6 is to keep F7 is to take but I'm not going to do that I'm going to keep him like that and then he's going to slowly uh, slowly arch towards his enemy and then he's just gonna might just let me bring the onion skin back one layer then he's just going to sprint and 
just draw draw like a little sequence here so you might want to reverse the video or anything like that but we're just going to do segment by segment so you can just skip this bit but it should go fast forward now and that's a fail so we're just going to put a couple of frames in front of it to space it out and if you want or were wondering how to import music you just go file oh, one sec. file import to stage or to library it doesn't matter then you just choose where you want your sound so from my destination it's sound effects located on the desktop just click on that, see our sand pack. Actually, no. Actually, yes. And I just get one of these. And that's. So I'm just going to go along. And he's going to run. The crack is. Knee. Alright, so let's see how that looks. Yeah, the sound is terrible, so... Yeah, but you can't hear it anyway. So, um... Yep, that's the tutorial, and this is your final product. And the animation's quite bad for this, but don't worry, never fear, because that was rushed.